<laughs> telling him I looked at all his numbers from rookie to second year. Every number went significantly up. So congratulations on that rise. I appreciate That's a good it. Good arc you. that you're on. Hmm. I want to start go. here, too. You know, just the fact that the Kings played the Warriors four times this season. You guys were competitive in all of those games. KD praised the team. How were you able to have success against Golden State? I just think that we were able to play our game for 48 minutes. You know, everybody kind of wants to slow the, slow the game down against them, but we didn't change our style for, for anyone. And all four of those games, we gave ourselves to win. We gave ourselves a chance to win. And I think kind of just the experience um, at the end of games kind of played a part in them just being able to pull it out. Mm -hmm. So – defensively how did you go at it or did you care did you just say we're going to outscore them or did you did you really game plan to try to slow them down well one of the games we broke the the record for the amount of threes made by both teams in a game so uh you try not to outscore them but at the end of the day you have to score the ball you can you can make all the game plans you want defensively it's going to be hard you got you got to chase Steph around. You got to guard KD. You got to guard Clay. it's and you were guarding mostly mostly Steph Steph yeah And what's that, that like? You better be ready to run. Run. You, have a lot, <laughs> you got a lot of guys who like Kyrie, Dame, who can do it off the dribble. Steph can do it off the dribble, but I think what makes him extremely dangerous is the fact that he can get off the ball. and He's able to run around 17 screens and still able to get a shot off. So I think that's what just makes him... And you got to be dangerous. ready to run into 17 screens oh, yeah. too, right? Yeah, you got, I, got, I got hurt getting hit by one of them. Really? Just Why? running so fast and not being able to dodge it. You can definitely get what hurt. What was the circumstance? You, um, do you remember who it was? It was once, the, I think it was Kavon Looney. Steph was just, he threw it and just got a back screen out of nowhere. Yeah. So you definitely have to communicate, and I didn't get that. And I kind of just got hit. And you got rocked? You got... Um, it was more so I got hit in my leg, so it was like okay. my hip. But, man, it's, Steph is a difficult he, he's, guard. Kavon's a big man. Oh, yeah. And they like, yeah. they like setting screens. You yes, have to have guys do. that want to get you open. If you have, if you have Shannon here, <laughs> and, he, and he wants to get you open, true. That guy, that guy's gonna get rocked. Well, you, you say um, Steph loves running, and he runs a lot. But we hear it says like when a guy gets tired, the first thing to go is his legs. How is he able to run so much and still be able to get those shots up late in the ball game like he does and make them? I think it's preparation. Like. You just got to be in the best shape of your life. And right. he's probably one of the most well-conditioned guys in the league. Right. You, like, you always see the stat with, um, with guys with Miles Rand. Right. Steph is always in the top three. Right. And that's really just what he does offensively, how much he moves. And mm. that's definitely, like I said, it's just preparation. You, you can't just wish that you're in condition like that. <laughs> so you realized before you got to Sacramento, I think it was back in 2015, Clay Thompson scored 37 points in the third quarter against your Kings or those Kings. Yeah. That, that's almost like mathematically impossible to me to score 37 <laughs> in a quarter, right? Yeah. I so, mean, they, they shoot the ball so well. Like, we, it was a game where actually, so one game we lost, we were up 10 points with three minutes left and lost the game by four. It's crazy how fast, because it can be, you could be up 15, it'll be, they can make a 3 3 steal, dunk, timeout. Come out the timeout, 3 3 3 timeout. So it's like, just the, you have to be able to withstand their runs, and I think that that's another reason that we were able to keep the games close. Because mm -hmm. they'd make a run, we'd answer the run. They'd make a run, we'd answer the run. We'd, we'd get a run, they'd answer the run. And I think that's what makes them great. They don't get rattled when you make a run. Mm -hmm. And I think that that's what, that's what, that's the hard thing about basketball. If a team makes three threes in a row, are you going to put your head down and be demoralized, or are you going to be able to answer it? Mm -hmm. And I think that that's what they do. So how does Toronto match up with Golden State? I think it's definitely tough. You have Kawhi. Uh, Kyle Lowry played well in the conference finals. Pascal is definitely one of the most improved players. He played, you know, borderline all-star. He's been great. Uh, Marcus All has the experience. Serge Ibaka has the experience. I think that they have a lot of guys that won't be rattled by their runs. Mm -hmm. They don't have a – see, uh, Pascal is the only young guy. He's, what, to like 24, 25. Mm -hmm. He's not really all that young. But they have a lot of vets that won't be, mm -hmm. that won't be scared or afraid to step up to the challenge of the Warriors making mm -hmm. a run. If you see, you see a team make a run on the Warriors – Steve Kerr doesn't call timeout. No, he doesn't. He doesn't call timeout very often. Right. Because you have Steph, you have Clay, you have Draymond who don't want you to call a timeout because they want to step up to the challenge of answering a run. And mm. I think Toronto definitely has a team made up of guys that can do that. You give them a shot to win? I, de I think it's, it's hard to beat the Warriors even without, Clay, even without KD. Mm -hmm. We can say KD, you know, he doesn't play, but everyone will step up. You can say, oh, who's going to step up? Well, Steph can average 23 with KD. Okay, now Katie's out. Now he gets more shots. And yeah. mm. Katie and uh, Clay gets more shots. Draymond's going to have the ball in his hands more. Mm. So 
What? I definitely have. I mean, I got the Warriors winning. I would think my best guess, I would say in six, just because I think Kawhi will send, single-handedly at least win one game. Mm-hmm. And I think Toronto is good enough to at least win a game without Kawhi having to take over the entire game. Mm-hmm. What's the biggest difference, Golden State, without KD, with and without KD? Without KD, it's definitely the ball movement. They don't have a guy that's just going to isolate. But, you know, if KD's on the floor, you have to. <laughs> you got to give him that space. You have to. Like, the great, most, of all, most of the great players, you got to be able to let them isolate. But that's the great thing about Steph. He doesn't have to. He can, but he doesn't need to. Right. And I think that's definitely the biggest part. Everybody gets more touches. Everybody gets to feel the ball a little bit more when KD's not playing. Mm. KD, best player in basketball? <sighs> I know you. Uh, mm, he's it's tough. Guy. I don't... Man, he know he know that guy. He know, he know about that guy. <laughs> you nobody. Mm. I think it's tough. I think it's tough. I think KD definitely is the best offensive player in the league for sure, and he can he can definitely defend. But I think you have a case for everybody. You have a case for Kawhi. You have a case for LeBron. You got a case for KD. You got a case for Steph. Mm. And and I got thirty three cases of Diet Mountain Dew because he keeps betting against me. But that's okay. <laughs> no no no. Other than that, yeah. we'll see. Well, he got Golden State. He's yeah. taking Golden State, and I take a LeBron. And J.R. Smith and mm-hmm. Tristan Thompson oh, yeah. in the finals. Like, yeah, and you realize what happened in game one just one year ago? Oh, yeah, we definitely saw. Everybody yeah. remembers that. Yeah. Thank but, you. But, but LeBron <laughs> had the ball in his hands with eight seconds left with Steph guarding him. Little Steph. But he's, and you just got to just shoot it. No, you did. He, he, if you're that guy, you shoot that shot. Fox, right? D. Fox, check this out. Yeah. Now, he saw LeBron was at the three-point line at the top of the key. That there is at the free throw line is Draymond and KD. Oh yeah, they're playing at the boxes. You got a lot. That's a lot of help. Mm. Come on, man. <laughs> Come on, Skip. You saw that. And, and everybody says they want LeBron to just bully, bully. You can't bully the entire time. Look at some point you're gonna get Look at that. Look at that. He's inside the three point line. Okay, so he's got little Steph on him. I don't know, but you got a lot of. Okay, but wait a second. He's got the hottest hand from distance I've ever seen him have in any playoff game in his career. He's actually made three of six three-point shots, and he's seven of 13 outside the paint. And he's got the little man on him, and you're down one with eight seconds. Just take one dribble to your left and rise up and shoot a virtual free throw. Shoot a Michael Jordan at Utah shot. Now, it was, hold the pose. Go ahead, go ahead, hold go ahead. the pose. No, go ahead, go ahead. Talk now, one thing on. I can say is he probably shouldn't have tried to make that pass in that situation. Ah, uh, there we That's go. That's a tough pass. Right. Extremely tough pass. This man's a point guard. He knows. Right. Yeah. It could have been a lot of easier passes, but... But I wouldn't just say he should know, just shoot it. But, but the Clay, more I look but Clay at that, did the right thing. Yeah. Clay says, I'm not going to give you a layup and have you guys go up by one. I'm going to put the pressure on you to make you go to the free throw line and make two of them and be sure. up by one. Okay. Because okay. he knew George Hill is not going to make both free throws. He didn't know George that. George Hill, he knows. Hey, all right, now, like, I had G Hill. Yeah. G Hill was my vet when was, I first came in the was, league. G right. Hill can shoot yeah. the ball. Come on now. G Hill can around. really he's, shoot the ball. He's been around the block. He's been on a whole bunch of teams because he's not that guy. And no. again, he was on he my Spurs for a long time, yeah. and they finally said, "Ah, that's enough of that." And he went to and he went to Utah, yeah. and those guys went no, to the conference no, finals. He's, what he's, twice? He's pretty good, but you don't put Game One at Oracle in his hands at the free throw line. Now it's not like he just clanked the free throw right. though. He made the first one. He made the first. The second one went in and out. He didn't just miss the yeah. free. He didn't just clank yeah. it. Yeah, but you thought he clanked it, right? I thought he should have. Well, hold on. <laughs> we, so we just go ice over, the, gloss over the fact that Jr. got the ball with five seconds mm. up under the rim. No, I that, can't say anything about that. That was uh, after the fact. That was the fact. The fact was the best player on the planet turned down the shot. Fuck, you said I got to go through every day. Yeah. Jr. has the ball. <laughs> a six-six guard has the ball in his hands with five yeah. seconds in a tie ball game, two feet under the basket. Mm. And he brings it out to half court. Can you explain to me why? He brain locked like he has many times in his career. That's the one guy you can't really trust in that situation. He did what he's done many times. But, that's, but uh, I don't think that's been I don't yeah. think that's been done many times. No, no, not like that. But he's had a lot of yes. You know, but I wouldn't expect it at that moment, Skip. He had been he had been like mm-hmm. okay. He'd been okay. Yeah. But again. You could have eliminated that moment if you had taken the shot. So right? even if they win that game, what? Do they win another one? Yeah. Hey, you win game one at Oracle, the whole pressure shifts back to the home team. Then you get a free shot in game two. I like that Cleveland team. I thought it was pretty Come good. Come on, Skip, stop well, you it. You told me they had the best player in the world at they the did. helm. And, and guess what? He went yeah. away and they was in the lottery. Okay, but they, they had G Hill. And the Eastern Conference. They had <laughs> Tristan. <laughs> no, what? Come on. Whatever. They did. They had Kevin Love. <laughs> mm. 
Really, Skip? They could have had Kyrie, but they didn't. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, right. Now, I'd like that chance would a little better if we'd had Kyrie, but it probably yeah. – Skip, Golden State is loaded. They were a great mm-hmm. team before they got KD. KD makes them unbeatable in seven games. Mm-hmm. I, think that, they're, I think they're unbeatable already. Oh, we took them down. You saw we took them down, right? That's why we took them down in seven games. <laughs> took them down. That's okay. why they went and got KD. So – how much disruption would it cause if let, – let's go to game three. Let, let's just say for the sake of argument that Golden State loses the first two games at Toronto and they go home and Kevin says, I- I'm going to go. I'm, j- I'm going to try it. And even if he's not quite right, how much would it disrupt their offense to try to fit him back into it after the flow they've been in? I don't think it disrupts him at all. Okay. No. I don't. Um, I mean, he's going to come back and even if he's hurt, he'll give you 30. He'll, de- he'll still give you 30. But – you still have guys that can – Steph and Clay. how many how, – how often are they really just going to get in shooting slumps? Like, those are the three guys that you really have to key in on. Draymond's going to do what he does. He doesn't – Draymond doesn't have too many bad games because his game isn't based on no. putting the ball in the basket. Mm-mm. He's going to rebound. He's going to defend. He's going to create shots for other guys. So, he's not going to have a bad game. Okay. So, KD's going to give you 30. Now, you just got to hope and pray that one of those guys isn't hitting. It's cold, yeah. I don't think he disrupts their offense. Okay. He's definitely going to hold the ball a little bit more, but their offense is still going to flow without a without Did you skip guys double KD? Was that the we idea? Didn't. We no, didn't. We did not. We, I mean, of course you try because if you who do you double off of? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Come on, Looney. You, like you can you we, you can talk about it, but if you bring the big, their offense like it's it's hard to describe. They have we can, we're going to say they have a lot of guys that know how to play the game of basketball. You have a lot of guys in the league that are talented, and I realized that when I came in, everybody's talented. But do you have guys that know how to, that understand the game? If right. if you double off of uh, Kavon, he's gonna cut. Right. Hmm. He's gonna get the shot that he's most comfortable making, and that's a hook yeah. shot yeah. from three feet. From three. Or feet. he's gonna dunk it. Right. Yeah. Okay. So you you come off of him. Now you leave who? Draymond. Right. Draymond's gonna cut. He's Down gonna to the basket. He's gonna catch it. He's gonna either throw the lob or he's gonna lay the ball up. Mm. Now you can't leave Steph and you can't leave Clay. Mm. So they have five guys who are just intertwined so well that you can't double. It just makes it too hard. Which brings us to Coach Walton. How do you like the fit of Coach Walton so far? Uh, he's been great. Um, he communicates extremely well. That's one thing that he definitely does. Now, I don't know, you know, just yet if he's a, I don't think he's a, he's not going to yell at people or anything like that. But so I've worked out with him about four or five times uh, since the summer started before I left Sacramento. Worked out? He was working out all Yeah, he, no, no, no. He was working, he was working me out, basically. Okay, so. Okay. I mean, he's just been, he's been great. He, he's already let me know what he wants me to do in the offense, um, just kind of where my shots are going to come from, and just kind of already getting me ahead of the curve of what to expect next year. And the thing about, you know, everybody asked me about, you know, being drafted by the Lakers and all that, you know, my first year, we were, the, we were, we were last in pace. Slow, slow, slow. So yeah. I already know the way that he wants to play. So I feel like if I was able to play in that type of, you know, environment or that, in, in that type of pace offense my first mm-hmm. year, I think it definitely would have been a, a lot different from, okay. what, from what happened. Remember the first half of the year last year, they were just running and gunning, mm-hmm. the Lakers were. Yeah. yeah. Right? Because LeBron, because why? LeBron was healthy. Yeah. LeBron yeah. was healthy getting out know. there. They, 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 ran, they, they, they were running and gunning their, my rookie year as well without LeBron. So yep. that's just the way that, that's the way Luke, that's the way Luke coached. They, mm-hmm. And I think that that's why, that's why, that's another attribute to Alonzo's success. That's why he's going to be successful yeah. in yeah. L.A. Okay. They, they, they run. They get the pace up. They get a lot more possessions than other teams. They were like okay. top five in so pace. So, on the record, Kings make playoffs next year? I think we can set it in stone. But okay. Okay. It's, it's tough in the West. Whew, we gave ourselves a chance. but It's getting harder. It's getting every harder. game you lose, like, I think the, the, the eighth seed had 47 wins. Uh, you yeah, got it. <laughs> Tell Braun. Yeah, or no, Braun. <laughs> Braun's getting the playoff. Write that in stone. You no write more. that in blood. Oh, right. <laughs> right. Right. Done deal. Thank you so much for being thank here. You. Great insight. That Pleasure. was really interesting. Right, no, thank you guys. Good thank you guys everything. for having me. Very well done. Uh, speaking you. of LeBron, thank you for watching. You can subscribe here to get the latest from the show. And be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed. Or go watch a few other segments from our other shows on FS1.